So today, we are solving systems of equations. Now, a system of equations is two or more equations that you're working with at the same time. And when you're solving them, what you're really looking for is a combination of x and y that works for all the equations in your system, in this case, the two that we're working with. Now, the easiest way to do this is by graphing them both. You see, where the two lines intersect is going to be the one combination of x and y that works for both of them. In other words, we're looking for the point of intersection. So let's go ahead and do that. y equals 3x, plus, uh, 3x minus 4. Your y-intercept's negative 4. The slope is 3, so up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1. So it's going to be like this. I'll use my ruler to draw on my line. There's my first line. Now, for my second line, notice that this is in standard form, so I'm going to need to get it into slope-intercept form in order to graph it. So I need to get y by itself. I'm going to subtract x on both sides. When I do that, I get 2y equals negative x plus 6. Now I have to divide both sides by 2. I end up getting y equals, I can think of this as negative 1x. So negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half x. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, so that's what I'm going to graph for the second equation. So it starts at 3, 3 right here. And it's going to go down 1, right 2, because the slope is negative 1 half. Down 1, right 2. There we go. I'll continue it the other way. And once I draw my line in there, you can see where the two lines intersect. All right, so if you look really carefully here, this is the point of intersection right there, this point 2, 2. So the two lines have exactly one point in common, 2, 2. So what that tells me is the one solution to these two equations is when x is 2 and y is 2. It'll work for both of them. And that's the only point that will work for both equations. All right? Let's do another one so you can see some other uh, ways these can end up. All right? So I've got y equals 3 fourths x minus 5. So here's negative 5 on the y-axis. My slope is 3 fourths, so I'll go up 3, right 4, up 3, right 4, and I'll go the other way too. There's my line. And that's that. For my second equation, I've got negative 3x plus 4y equals 8. No notice this one's in standard form again. So I'm going to get it into a slope-intercept form. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. When I do that, I end up getting 4y equals 3x plus 8. Next, I'm going to divide by 4. And I end up getting y equals 3 divided by 4 is 3 fourths x, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. There it is, 3 fourths x plus 2. So my y-intercept's 2. Now I can graph it. My slope is 3 fourths, up 3, right 4, up 3, right 4, and then continue the pattern the other way. And if I do that and draw my line in, notice something unusual here. Remember, we're trying to solve the system of equations by finding where the two lines intersect. If you look really carefully here, these two lines are parallel. They have the exact same slope, so they go up at the exact same angle. These two lines will never intersect. So what's the solution? Well, if they never intersect, we say this has no solution. All right, meaning there is no combination of an x and y that will work for both equations, okay? There's combinations that'll work for the first one, there's combinations that'll work for the second one, but notice, they have no points in common, so there is no combination of x and y that will work for both of them at the same time. At least not like this one, where, see, there's that one point that works for both lines. Down here, there is no points they have in common. All right, let's see one more example. 
All right, so here we go. Y equals negative 2 thirds X plus 1 and 2 X plus 3 Y equals 3. So I'll do the first one first because it's in slope intercept form, so this is easy graph. Starts at 1 on the Y axis and the slope is negative 2 thirds, so down 2, right 3. I'll continue it the other way and draw in my line. Now, for the second equation, notice the second equation is in standard form. So we're going to have to do some algebra to get it into slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. When I do that, I end up getting 3y equals negative 2x plus 3. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And I end up getting y equals negative 2 divided by 3 is negative 2 thirds x. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. OK, so now I can graph this one now that it's in slope intercept form. My y intercept's 1, which is the same as the other one is. And my slope is negative 2 thirds. So from there, I'm going to go down 2, right 3. And notice something. My line for this one is ending up right on top of the previous one. Here, I'm going to just draw the line in on top. All right. Oh, that's a little messy. But you get the point here. And if you notice, when I got this into slope intercept form, these are the same equation. So remember, we're trying to find the solution to the system. We're trying to find the point of intersection. Now, if this pink line is right on top of the green line, what is the point of intersection? Well, that means they intersect everywhere on the line. Every single point on the line intersects the other line because the lines are right on top of each other. So in this case, we say that there are infinitely many solutions. Meaning, any solution that works for one equation is automatically going to work for the second equation because these are the same equation and they make the same line. All right? So that's what you can see with a system of equations. Sometimes the two equations are the same. In that case, there's infinitely many solutions. Sometimes the equations make lines that are parallel. In that case, there are no solutions. And then sometimes the lines will intersect at one spot. In that case, there's just one solution. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe. It really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.